goodness me, cats. The cats are having a right set to. The bird feeder is right there. But they're all around here. Dogs, cats, everybody. I'm, um, this is a cutting that uh, I'm planting on to be into a hanging basket. And when I'm doing my cuttings, it's a beautiful one. This is the, um, this is the flower of this hanging geranium. It'll flesh out and droop over. But I take cuttings, I've got a jug here and it's full of three different kinds of geraniums. And these, are you having a drink of water? But I'm gonna hang this geranium uh, just outside the door here. This is, uh, you can see I've got, I've been, those were divided, I'm potting them on. They're looking good. Those are pineapple lily seeds. They're three years old now. These are acorns that I planted and are growing. Acorns, what are they called? Oak trees. I, these are other trees and I can't remember what they are, but I've got to plant them on. These are cuttings. Some of these have taken and I have to, like this one's taken. So I've got to pop them all on. The dogs are all drinking out of all the water containers. But this geranium, which it has these colored flowers, it's going to look good because I'm going to hang it off of that hook right there. So I think that's going to look really lovely with the uh, black wooden door. So I've been planting on, these are going to be hardened out. These are one of my favorite daylilies, which is, um, what is he called? Uh, the Bishop of Lundruff. And it's a beautiful red, red flower. And the foliage is off green. The begonia is doing really well. Uh, I've already potted on, what have I already potted on? Oh, I've potted on these, my aubergines or eggplants, depending um, what country you're in. And the sunflowers are doing really well. I'm going to have to start hardening them off. A lot of tomatoes have been planted on. And I've got a pot on, those are my purple broccoli sprouting broccoli for next year. I always plant them, as sow them as soon as I'm um, starting. And I've sowed a varieties of cucumbers. There's two, four, here's another variety over here. This, the lemon tree, I'm gonna have to put outside soon. You can see it's shooting beautiful dark and the flowers, the perfume of the flowers. You can see I've got to pot on my sweet pea. There's fox gloves. There's some more sunflowers. There's those have been potted on, so they look sickly, but they're gonna rejuvenate because they've been potted on. This is, oh, this is a dahlia that a friend of mine gave me and it's called Inca. Isn't that right, Inca? Where are you? Yeah. So this is Inca's gera uh, geranium, dahlia. So as you can see, and look, amazingly, this is flowering again. So I've got to keep it um, dry, not dry, wet. I've got to remember watering it. The tomatoes are all looking slightly sad. They've been watered, uh, but they were potted on. So they'll rejuvenate soon. They needed to be potted on. So these are a beautiful little uh, re uh, pink flowered strawberry. So you can see the first strawberries are coming on. I'll have strawberries sometime soon. This is a geranium that I did a cutting up. Oh yeah, here's some more geraniums. My strike rate doesn't necessarily equate to being very good, but there's what, I've got one, two, three different geraniums. See, these other ones didn't work. So I'll have more. Um, this one looks like it might just have made it. So I'm always trying to strike geraniums on. And these tomatoes fell over. Poor things. I'm hoping they're a lot less bedraggled than they were looking last night. Anyway, this is what I'm at today is doing lots of potting on, 
cuttings, all kinds of things. These are were overwintered. They're lovely. That's a dahlia coming on. So there's lots of work to do. And you can see the extraordinary um, lilies. The pineapple lilies are coming up and they're really amazing looking. And here's them coming on a bit further. So I've got to harden them out. So yeah, it's all go in the garden. And then the dogs get in the way. I want to go out. Can I go out? Thank you. <laughs> So it's a chilly day, but perfect for doing lots of potting. Oh, and I've got to put out my peas and my mange too. Very cross bird. Very territorial house sparrows. Here are three different geraniums that I uh, took cuttings of and did in water, not in soil. And some of them have taken, and some of them haven't. That one hasn't. And then here's one. There's one in here, I think, that has. Yes, that one has. You can see there's the roots. So they're not all taking. Ah, there's one that has in this one. So I take that out. And I'm going to plant it in here. And these will be the geraniums for next year. So I, they'll share a pot. And this way I'll remember them. So I'll remember to water them because you have to keep them moist. And they don't want direct sunlight. But the rest of these haven't struck yet. Nope, no strike right there. Oh, that one has, but it's still too, that one here you can see, there's one root, but that's not enough yet. So I'm gonna put these out of direct sunlight again and into heat. And hopefully these two, they're two different geraniums, will take off now that I've put them in soil. So these ones hopefully will strike. And these are my next selection. These were, I cut these about three, two, three weeks ago, I think. And these just today. So we'll see how they go. But that's how I keep my geraniums going. And when I see a really beautiful one, I might buy it. And then I will put it into cuttings See, over here, I have, that's from a cutting. These are cuttings. These are uh, sedums and geranium cuttings. I've forgotten what color they are, so I have to wait till they flower as to what, how I'm going to pop them up. This beautiful big one is a cutting. Um, I like these. I don't have this color that I know of. But here are the original ones that I took this cutting from there. Then over here, these are all cuttings. These are these um, are all from cuttings that I've potted on. So slowly but surely, I'm getting the geraniums that I really, really like. And the cat, what is the cat doing? The cat is having a lovely time on this pot that's very grassy. Oh, I've made her jump away. Oh, I see, there was another cat there. Were you playing? Or is there a vole or mole or shrew in there? There must be some animal. This is willow. It looks like it's really mucky, but I'm hoping that this willow has struck. Let's see if I pull this willow up. No, there's maybe a root in there happening. Anyway, it's in this mucky water to see if the willow will strike. These are all baby acorns. Baby acorns. God, I keep doing that, don't I? Um, they're baby horse chestnut and oak that I planted from seed. So they all get a bit of sun in the morning and then uh, they get in the shade because they don't want too much direct light. Well, they're not all oaks. This is um, 
I think this is a rowan. Yeah, it's a rowan. It's not a... I When they're young, I mix my... Actually, I think that's an ash. That's a rowan. And there's a beech, copper beech, and a plains tree. So these were all sown from seed. So here we go. And then these I've got to fill up with my wonderful manure and grow my tomatoes in. I'm not at that stage yet. Here's another lovely horse chestnut. I should really plant that horse chestnut out. Anyway, and look, this is about to flower. Not sure what it is. These are all my uh, salvias that I've got to plant out. I, these are, um, that's a cutting I took. And that's not a cutting. That's one that somebody gave me. So a lot of these salvias, actually, somebody gave me a whole bunch of salvias. The cats are... <laughs> he is just, he's loopy his time. <laughs> Isn't that right, pup? Yes. Anyway, so this is my entertainment as I stand there and pot outside and bring things in and out and do cuttings and all kinds of things. This is my Sunday morning at the moment.